Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on data sampling and questionnaires. So this is the last video on this topic and we'll just cover a quick example question on uh, questionnaires. So this is an exam style question. So Philippa has designed a questionnaire to learn about TV watching habits. She intends to put this questionnaire to 30 of her classmates. And for part A we have to find two problems with the questionnaire and explain our answer. So if we have a look, it says how many hours do you spend watching TV? And the options are 1 to 5, 10 to, uh, 5 to 10 and 10 to 20. So the first problem I'm picking up on here is that the uh, response boxes overlap. So if I watch five hours uh, of TV, do I tick this box or this box? So it's not clear. Uh, so that's our first problem. So let's say A1 is that there's uh, overlapping responses. And then if we have a look again at the questionnaire, how many hours do you spend watching TV? Uh, well, it's not clear whether that's per week, per day, per month. I hope it's not per day if one of the options is 20 hours, uh, but that's our next problem then, that there's no time frame. And then there's a couple of other things to point out with this question, uh, and that's that it's uh, not exactly clear. So how many hours do you spend watching TV? Now, is that just watching the TV box or is that, you know, streaming services or anything else like that? So there's a lack of clarity in the question, so that could be another problem. We only have to give two for uh, the question. And then the final one is that it's likely to give biased results. And that's because she's only asking her classmates. Uh, so to get more accurate results or more reliable results, she should be asking a wider variety of people, so from different age groups, for example. So if we move on to part B then, we need to redesign the questionnaire so that it's more likely to collect meaningful data. So if we rewrite the question, how many hours do you spend watching TV uh, but we if we remember we need to add a time frame uh, so let's say per week and then as we said before we need to make sure the question is clear so let's say including streaming services so that's like net Netflix uh, iPlayer all the rest of it okay so that's a much more clear question uh, if you'll excuse my handwriting, that is. Uh, and then we need some response boxes. Uh, so the original questionnaire had three. I'm going to include four here uh, because the more you have, the better. Uh, now, we need to have an option, first of all, uh, for people who don't spend any time watching TV. So, so let's say our first option is going to be zero to four hours. And then the next one will be five to eight. And then we'll go for nine to 12. And then we'll go for... 13 or more. Uh, so you can see in this questionnaire that every option is included. So if I spend five hours watching TV, it's clear which box I should tick. If I don't watch any TV, there's a box for me to tick on the left. And if I watch more than 13 hours, so like 20 hours for instance, then there's also a box I can tick on the right. If you'd like to get some practice with some questionnaires, exam style questions, you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform and if you take the test you'll find a variety of different questions loads of different question types as well and you get instant feedback on everything uh, so if you're interested and you want to take the test then you can click the link below it will take you straight there